ladies and gentlemen, my name is The Yokel, and welcome once again to Final Six. Uh, it's Liz. Liz? I'm sorry. That's it. Grab your torch. First and vote out of Survivor Terrapin Trials. Holly. That's three. That's enough tonight. This is not a This video is part two of my fan survivor history of 321 Vote. In part one, I talked about the history of the 321 Vote in the MC Survivor world. Go check that out. And now, in this one, I'll be talking about the history of the 321 vote in the College Survivor series. Specifically, in Survivor Michigan, Boston, Maryland, and Syracuse, as those are the ones that I have watched. With that being said, let's start off with the history of these votes in the world of College Survivor. 3, 2, 1, go! We start off with Survivor Michigan with the first season Survivor Victor's Valiant in the double tribal at the final 12. In this tribal, the three former Neela members, Tarofsky, Angela, and Cooper, were against the three former Maison people, Cam, Leia, and Liz. In this situation, no one was flipping. While Cooper was considering flipping since he wanted to work with Leia and were talking about maybe splitting the votes between Tarofsky and Angela, Tarofsky had an idol and planned on playing it. He didn't know if the Maison people would target Angela or target him. When it came to tribal, Tarofsky decided to play his idol on Angela. After that, Leia played her idol on herself, fearing that they voted her between her and Cam since Liz won immunity. The votes were read and the Maison's three votes for Angela were cancelled, as well as Tarofsky's vote for Leia. But the Neela three split their votes between Cam and Leia, and with Cooper and Angela's votes on Cam, that led to him being voted off. The next and last time we see a 3-2-1 vote in the Michigan series was again at the final 12 of Survivor Wolverine Wars, with the El Norte tribe going to their third tribal council. In this tribal, it looked like it would have been a simple vote on Nate, since he was on the outs. However, it got leaked to the tribe that Jack and Camilla were playing both sides, between working with Ben and Katie, as well as working with Nate and Megan. So when Nate leaked this plan to Ben and Katie, they wanted to turn the game on his head and vote out Jack, the three of them plus Megan. The problem with that being the fact that Megan then leaked that plan to Jack and Camilla, wanting to work with them over Ben, Katie, and Nate. And Jack getting worried, went to talk with Ben, and pretty much begged Ben for forgiveness and a second chance with them working together in the game. So when it came to Tribal, Nate went with the plan to vote out Jack. Ben decided to give Jack a second chance, so he and Katie went back on the Nate plan. However, Jack, Megan, and Camilla went to vote out Ben due to wanting to make a big move in the season, his reputation from his last season, Plus the fact that it got leaked that he was leaking some information over to the Tokidoki tribe via IP. Shocking everyone, their tribe, the crew, the audience, me. Fair to say this is not one of my favorite votes. Now move on to Survivor Boston, where they only had one 3 to one split vote so far, and that was in their first season Survivor Freedom Trail, and it was at the final 11 Double Tribal Council. In this tribal, it was four OG Inferno members, Brian, Daniela, Elvis, and Giselle versus two former A Tribe Called Quest members. Yes, that was the name of their tribe, Peyton and Kate. However, this was different than most four two majorities. The majority four were split and targeting each other, with Brian and Daniela versus Elvis and Giselle, with Kate and Peyton in the deciding position. Since Elvis won immunity, Brian and Daniela were targeting Giselle, while Elvis and Giselle were wanting to split the votes between Brian and Daniela, with Daniela being the main target. So when it came to tribal, Daniela stayed on the Giselle plan, but unfortunately for her, Brian knew it was him or her leaving. So he, along with Peyton and Kate, vote at Daniela, while Elvis and Giselle went with a split vote on Brian. We now move on to Survivor Maryland, and probably one of the most famous vote outs not only in Survivor Maryland history, but probably all college Survivor history. And that was the vote at the final six of Survivor Maryland Terrapin Trials. In this vote, 
the four girls, Paluke, Holly, Marissa, and Victoria, had the majority and were planning on taking out the last of the boys, Zack and Terry. Mainly Zack, since he was much more threatening than Terry was. However, Victoria knew that Holly was the biggest jury threat left in the game, since most of her friends were on the jury. Since Victoria knew Zack had an idol, she was hoping that all the girls would vote Zack, Zack would play his idol, and then Holly would go home with Zack and Terry voting her. So her biggest competition would be out of the game, but still keep up the facade of playing both sides between the boys and the girls. However, when Holly got paranoid about Zack having an idol, she tried to make the girls split the votes between Zack and Terry. That way on a revote, if Zack plays his idol, the other lad would go home. Which wasn't in Victoria's plan, so she had to make a decision. Stick with the girls and vote Terry in the split plan, or jump ship, take, make a move, and vote Holly. At the end of the day, Victoria took the risk and voted out Holly with Zack and Terry, while the girls went with the split plan with Faluke and Marissa voting Zack, which got cancelled, and Holly voting for Terry. Victoria was able to not only waste Zack's idol, but get rid of her biggest jury threat left in the game. Cool, Victoria. Cool, Victoria. The next season, Survivor Guts and Glory, is the next time we see a 3-2-1 vote happen at the final 13, where the two Ula Ula members, Brian and Alan, were facing Ahsoka Toa for majority, with Shannon, Evan, Micah, and Molly. However, Molly knew she was on the bottom of that four and wanted to change up the game, and was going to flip over to Brian and Alan. She even managed to find herself an idol, and with that, would play it and vote out one of the Soka trio. While the Soka trio were planning on voting Brian, since Shannon knew Alan and wanted to work with him later in the game. So that left Brian. Tribal came, Molly played her idol on herself, thinking the Soka trio knew that she was flipping and would vote for her. Spoilers, they didn't, she got no votes. They stuck with their plan to vote for Brian, but the other three were not as much on the same page as the Soka trio were. Molly and Alan voted for Micah, but Brian voted for Evan for some reason, causing him to be sent home. The final 3 to 1 vote in the Survivor Maryland series was in probably the best college Survivor season I've ever seen, Survivor Maryland All Stars, at the final 13, where the majority of Crystal Compt, Eric King, Holly and Ashley were planning on taking out either Chris Thomas or Sabrina since they tried to make a move on LeCompte two tribals ago. Now their biggest worry was that the majority thought that Sabrina had an idol since she flashed it last tribal causing Senti to go home, and since she didn't play it, they didn't know whether it was a real idol or if it was a fake one. We know for a fact that it was a fake one since we saw in a flashback that it was a wolf bracelet that Chubal gave her, but no one knew that other than Sabrina and Chubal. So to play it safe, the majority were going to split their votes. Guys vote for Sabrina, girls vote for Chris Thomas. So when it came to tribal, Sabrina's acting didn't work a second time, the majority stuck with their split plan. LeCompton King voted Sabrina, and Holly and Ashley voted for Chris Thomas. It was signed, sealed, and over for Sabrina, since Chris Thomas also voted her off, ensuing that he would survive over her. As for Sabrina, she just voted for Holly for a random reason. Last, we come to my most recent college Survivor obsession, Survivor Syracuse. This series also only has one 3 to 1 vote so far, and that's in Survivor Snakes and Secrets at the final six. In this tribal, Summer was an obvious target since she was the last member of her alliance left, and with how bitter the season was, it was a huge threat to win since all of her friends were on the jury. However, within the majority, things were afoot. A trio of Addie, Derek, and Mike were threatened by the one Maroon 9 member in their alliance, Miss Geneva, and always had mistrust with her, despite her always voting with them. They also feared she had a story if she got to the end, despite the countless times the jurors say they weren't going to vote for her, and feeling they can get rid of Summer at any time, plus they feared Geneva's growing relationship with Austin. So, at Tribal Council, they took their shot and voted off Geneva. Geneva and Austin stuck with the plan to vote for Summer, knowing her relationship with the jury, while Summer went after Austin, thinking he was the biggest threat left in the game. As you can probably tell, this was another vote that I was not happy with. <laughs> and there you have it. Those are the 3 2 1 votes in all of the College Survivor series that I have watched. Weirdly, a majority of these weren't actually at the final six, but more at the swap point before the merge would happen. But we got a lot of moments in these votes. I wonder how many more we'll get in the future. What do y'all think of me also covering the College Survivor series as well as the MC? Let me know down below. Till my next random thought, later guys!